it was reported that these two young ladies, Selene and Afiba, went missing as they left Portacourt in Nigeria to see a man named Andrew Amechi in Aba, Nigeria. The man who claimed to be a businessman invited these young ladies, promising them a huge amount of money. Now, these young ladies accepted his invitation, which led to their missing. And the man was arrested. Several interrogations were done by the police to pressurize the man to say the truth about the guest's whereabouts. Yet, the man refused to disclose anything. It was also reported that while the man was being transported from Abba to Abuja, he tried to escape and was shot dead by the police. And since then, no one knows the guest's whereabouts. Another news came that recently, one of the guest's body was found in the bush near the man's house and it was discovered that the part of the guest's body was not found. We use the cutting to wrap the dead body. So if you go to the house, the same cutting, we use wrap the dead body. It's what we're going to find uh, in the house. So from here now, we go back to the house so that we can compare to see that the cutting here and the one in the house are the same. So I'm here with uh, F-I-B-I-R-O-T, headed by this city, Sanusi Mohammed. And um, we came all the way, came all the way from Abuja. And since last night, we have been in Alba and uh, uh, over Selene and Afiba's case. And I can, I can tell you, uh, you know, that the lot has been achieved. So this road, these places are, you know, there's no houses, this place is just in the bush, and we dump them somewhere there, uh, uh, there. And uh, yes, so people witnesses here said that this body has been here over one month plus, and uh, there was no head, and some part of the body were, you know, were, were removed. The same person we found here is the same we found in his house, hanging in his house. This is the street, no. This is the right inside the house, huh? This is the black sheep group, all right? And then, you know what is the black sheep That's what they are doing. This is what I always tell guests. Retrace your steps. Life is not true. Once you lose your life, you are gone and forgotten. Nothing is worth risking your life, no matter the situation you find yourself in. Do not allow it to change who you are. From the day you start adopting the habit of depending on men for survival as a single lady, that will be your starting point to prostitution. Looking down on your capability makes you a liability. Laziness is a starting point of dependency. You can always be a great and rich lady without sleeping around with men. Oh yes, having the mindset that if you don't call or sleep with a man, you can't survive is the greatest chain that can hinder you from discovering who you are as a lady. What a man can do, you can also do. Have the mindset of positivity if you wish to have a handshake of greatness. The one I'm running for many guests now is online hookup, prostitution in a modernized way. But one thing that baffles me is that some of you guys only think about money, money. That's the language you guys understand. I'm not saying making money is bad, but the process in which you are making the money should be of great concern to you. Any risk that imposes danger to you or your life is not worth trying. You will go all the way from your house to an unknown place to see an unknown person yet you end up sleeping with that person and he gives you some money while you are coming back and you are yet to convince yourself that you are prostituting continue deceiving yourself find something and do with your life go and learn something there are so many skills you can learn 
to help yourself. At least, when a good man comes your way, he will see a woman with great potential. That's one of the things men consider in a woman. Because if you keep sleeping around for money, one day might be a, a bad day for you and you won't be alive to tell the story. I'm not saying it's bad to meet someone you met on social media. Of course, some people met their spouse on social media. What I'm saying is that if you are seeing someone for the first time, let it be in an open place. And anytime you are visiting the person, make sure you inform someone close to you and let that person you are going to visit know that someone else knows about your visit and stop sleeping with random men. Some of those men you are sleeping with are using your destiny to get more richer. A man offered you one million naira to, to sleep with you in this hardship and you think is normal. You think is ordinary. Some of those men you, you see they have some skeletons in their cupboard that gives them money. And sleeping with you might be one of the skeletons in their cupboards. Parents, stop pressurizing your daughters. Stop pushing them into prostitution because of conditions. Problems, no they finish. Stop comparing your daughter with someone else's daughter. This can push her into a regretful life and she will forever blame you. Support her in any way you can. Encourage her and show her love. That's your duty as a parent. A word is enough for the wise. See you in my next video.